Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about the flexible tagging system that Ghost offers, which is a great and easy way to organize the content of your site. So let's jump into the admin dashboard. From here, if you go over to your posts, and let's just pick a random post that already exists, we can go to the top right corner here, into the post settings, and you'll see a section called tags. If we click here, we'll be able to select pre-existing tags, but we can also add new tags. So let's just call this tag tutorial and press enter or click add. So we've got that in there now. We have to update the post and then we'll go back to the admin dashboard. And you'll see a section here called tags. So if we click on that, we can now see that we have a tag called tutorial. When you add a tag to a post, it automatically creates a tag page, a collection page, we call it. You can see the URL down there, and you can also preview the tag. So as you can see here, we've currently got one post on there. A few things you can do is we can set a color, I don't know, call it red, uh, and we can add an image as well. Let's just go for this one, pretty easy. A description these are my tutorials if you scroll down you see there's a few more options I'll let you explore this on your own but this is basically what it boils down to so let's save that view the tag once again now you can see there's a little description up there we've got our picture and we've got the one tag down there keep in mind that the design of these tag pages really depends on the theme you use so this is how it looks in our official Casper theme. But if you use one of our other official themes or a custom theme, it might look different for you. So we've got one tag called tutorial and we've got one post linked to it. Let's go back to our admin dashboard and add a few more posts to this tag page. All right, let's go back to the posts. So a real easy way, let's open another one. Could be a draft. It won't show up on the page just yet, but same thing. Go to the top right corner, go to the tags. Our tag will now be in here. There you go, tutorial. We add it and we don't need to publish it or update it right now because it's still in draft. That's another option. Once this is published, it will also show on the page there. If you followed our change log, you know that we also have bulk actions right now. So since I'm on a Mac, I can pretty much just press command and then click a few posts, choose these three. On the windows that will be control and click. And then we can right click and we can choose to add a tag. And again, it will already show up in the list as well. So we just have to click that one, tutorial, and we add this to those three posts. So let's go back to our tag page, clicking on the tags again here, and we want the tutorial. You can already see down here that there's five posts with that specific tag. Let's click on it and view the tag once again. And there you go. We now have four posts in there and one draft, which will show up once we publish it. All right, two more things to note. When you go over to your post and let's just have a look at maybe this one. Check the post settings and then in the tag menu here, the first tag showing up, so in this case, that's podcast episode, it will be the primary tag. This really can be important for how your theme manages these. One of those things to keep in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is that you can also add internal tags. So as you can see, there's already one here. This is from an import that's automatically added when you import posts. Uh, let's say I want to add one here as well. We always have to write hashtag first, and then we can say internal add that there. So that's an internal tag. These tags don't get a specific public tag page or anything, but it can be really useful to organize content internally. So if we go back and go to our tags overview once again, we can see at the top right corner public tags and internal tags. If we click on internal tags, you can see that I've done an import in the past of 237 posts and we can see the internal tag that I just created, which is really helpful if I go over to my posts I can filter for tags, internal, and I can find the posts related to that. So that's all I have for today. If you find this content helpful, 
please make sure to subscribe to our channel and like the video. And if you want to learn more, you can always head over to our help center at ghost.org forward slash help to find any article you may need. Thanks for watching.